Hey everybody, it's Bri. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Rick Rack Top Deck 2 Combo Pack from Rick Rack. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Either way, if you're new or coming back to the channel, please give this a like and a comment. We'd appreciate your time. So this is the Rick Rack Top Deck 2 bag mounted on the Rick Rack system. This comes with a lock and a ring cover as well. They set this up for you. They mount the bag for you to the Rick Rack rack for the back of your bike. Super easy. So when you want to travel, you simply drop your Rick Rack bag onto your bike. You spin the uh, clamps down there to lock it up to your tour pack deck, your rails rather. You're going to put the lock that goes through the luggage rack and through your Rick Rack and just simply attach it. Now your bag's fully secured, it stops. Now when you arrive at your final destination, you simply just want to unlock the lock that secures the Rick Rack to the tour pack. You're going to reach in the back compartment, take out the two straps, connecting them to the front of your bag. Again, super simple operation. It's going to be huge when you're hitting the road. Now you're just going to spin those clamps back, open them up. Grab the bag and off you go to your hotel. This is just a great design, super easy to use. This includes a heavy, heavy duty rain cover you can put on your bag. Now this is great for multiple reasons. One, it's obviously gonna protect everything in your bag, but it also is a good idea to put this on at stops so people don't aren't inclined to mess with your luggage on the bike, even though it is secure, they're not gonna be looking at it and noticing it, looking, wondering what's in the pocket. So I think it's a really good design to just kind of keep prying eyes off it. Now, the nice part about this cover as well, as you can see on the top, it has a zipper that allows you to access the main compartment of the bag, which I think is extremely handy. Now this bag can be expanded by the zipper on the top, going from 11 inches high to 13 inches high to make room for extra storage, things you might pick up along the way, or if you really do want to pack that heavy when you leave. Obviously, since this bag is mounted high on your bike, you always want to give consideration how much weight you're putting in it. Something to consider. Now, a really nice option on this bike is on, on this, a really nice option on this bag is there's two mesh compartments on the inside allowing you to store your wallet, your phones, smaller items that you want to, you don't want to necessarily dig out of your bag, but they're fully protected. I like to travel with my phone in there. It's just an easy place for me to access it and it stays protected. Now this was a tip that was given to me by Kidmoto22. I'm going to put a link on his, for his channel down in the description. When this bag is mounted to the Rick Rack system, these bolts are exposed. Now, the problem with that is you can, if you pack the bag heavily, it can wear through the liner. So Kit's idea was to put duct tape over the bolts, therefore protecting the bag liner. So when you do run heavy with the bag, you're not tearing up the liner of your bag and really ruining a quality product when you simply can just throw the duct tape over it and protect it. So I thought that was a really good tip. So thanks, kid, for taking the time to explain that to me. And this is going to be just a nice 360 shot of how the bag is going to look on your bike. As you can see, you've got two side compartments, a front compartment, that back compartment that holds the straps, as well as all the storage space in the bag. So this is a really good option, I think, for touring. It's going to give you the ability to get the bag on and off very simply. It's a secure way to store extra luggage and it's just a great design. I spoke to the folks at Rick Rack twice now. They've been great helping me out, giving me the hints for the bag and, and really making sure that I got the product I wanted. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you had, please consider subscribing, give it a like, and I'd like to hear your comments on things that you find that have been useful in your motorcycle travels. So again, thanks for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you'll check out the next one.
See ya.